Hello everyone, Kaze here. Today I'm going to show you how to get an avatar that you downloaded, purchased, or commissioned on the VR chat. And it's actually really simple. Um, besides the downloading and probably loading processes, it'll probably take under five minutes. So let's get right on to it. So the first thing you'll need is Unity. And the Unity that you need would be the one that's displayed on the VR chat SDK website. I'll place a link to this in the description below. And the version will change constantly, so just make sure you go to the site and get the latest one that it recommends. So we need the one released on April 28, 2017. So go here, April 28, 2017, this one, and either download the one for Windows or Mac. Or for me, I just found this one. That way I won't need to download it again from the manager. So I got this one downloaded. And if you see over here, I have it already pre-downloaded. Yep. And it's this one right here. The next thing you'll need is the SDK package. So that's the one right here. So you'll need to log into your account. So log into my account here. Go to downloads on the left and download this right here. And once you press that, you'll end up right here with this package. Next thing you'll need is the avatar itself. So I just use this one as an example, Sarah. And you need to download the avatar. So click here to download it. And I have that downloaded right here, Sarah, Dynamic Bones. And the next thing you'll need is the requirements of the avatar itself. So this requires Dynamic Bones and Cube Shaders. So usually when you download an avatar, um, the creator will also tell you what packages are needed. And sometimes um, the creator will provide it. Sometimes you need to get it yourself. But in this case, the creator was kind enough to provide it. So he provided links to download both of them. And you can see right here, um, I have them both pre-downloaded as well. So once we're done with that, we have everything we need downloaded here. You'll need to install Unity. Double click on that, let it load, and Unity will take maybe about five minutes to install. So just keep going next, next, next. And I already have Unity installed, so I'll close out of this. So we can launch up Unity, give it a second, and make sure you have the right version of Unity launched on. You might have downloaded a previous version of Unity for something else, so make sure you have this correct version right here. And it displays right here on the um, top left corner. And now you can start a new project for your avatar. So let's just call this VR Chat Avatars. Avatars. There we go. And just start it up. Just give it a minute for the project to be created. And we're in. So the first thing you need to do is import the VR chat SDK and just drag it right into here, the assets folder. And this will take maybe about three to five minutes, depending on how fast your PC is. And just go here and press import and let it go. And we will skip through this portion so you don't have to wait along with me. All right, so hopefully you're back from your coffee break and now the VR chat SDK has finished importing. So this splash screen will pop up as soon as it's done. You can read through this later and just close it for now. And you can see right here that it's already imported. Next thing we want to do is import the required packages. So let's import cube shaders. This will take a bit too, not as long as the VR chat SDK, but um, just go ahead and press import and give it uh, maybe one or two minutes and we'll skip through this portion as well. All right, so that finished importing, the splash screen popped right back up again. You can close that and you can see the cube shaders are imported. Next, we'll import dynamic bones. So just go ahead and press that. Give it a second and import it right in. All right, so the splash screen popped up again. We closed it and now we can see dynamic bones is imported as well. Next thing we want to import is the actual model itself, so Sarah. Just double click Sarah and let it import. All right, so Sarah's then importing as well. Um, you'll see Sarah right here. Double click Sarah. And usually you'll see this um, little, I guess, Unity icon shape file. And you'll want to double click this. It's not always named the same as the avatar. Sometimes it's named Open Me or click here. But um, after you double click here, you'll see the model pop up right here. And you can use the middle scroll button on your mouse to zoom in on the character. Then you can press in on the middle button to move up, down, left, right. And if you want to change the angle, 
of how you see the avatar. You use the right mouse button. Then you can use the middle mouse button to move again. That way you can get a closer look of the avatar you're about to upload. And one thing you want to make sure of, um, go to the inspector, click Sarah on the left. And you want to make sure that there's no blueprint ID right here under the pipeline manager. If there is, um, it's attached to someone else's account. Um, the person might have forgot to clear cleared it before um, they uploaded it onto the VRC mods or gave it to you, but um, make sure there's no blueprint ID here. And if there is one, you just there's a detach button here that will pop up and you just press detach. But first we wanna make sure to log into the VR chat SDK. So let's do that. Go to settings, go here, log right in. Yep. And then another thing you wanna make sure of is that your avatar creator status is allowing you to upload avatars. If you're not allowed to, that means you haven't spent enough hours in VR chat yet. So you'll need to wait a bit. Um, alternative is just to get a friend to upload it and you can clone it until you can do it yourself. Uh, that's, that's just the way it works. So we're logged in, we can publish avatars now. And you can see here, yep, um, this button has also appeared. So it allows you to detach and attach, but it's blank, so it's good. Next thing you want to do is go to VR's chat SDK and click the show build panel. And then you click build and publish. And that will take a, mi uh, a few minutes. Just give it some time, be patient, it'll be done soon. Um, in later tutorials, we can also cover changing the scale over here. We're also uploading a custom profile picture for your avatar when you're in a social tab. But, um, for now, we're just gonna get this working. All right, so it looks like it's done. Of course, the splash screen pops right up again for some reason. And you can use your middle mouse button to zoom out. That way you can see, uh, let me close this. All right, maybe not. You can use the scale button to zoom out at least. That way you can see this entire menu right here. Um, so you can see the profile image for your avatar right now. It's just the, your avatar doing a T-pose. Um, in future tutorials, we can cover on how to get a custom image on there. But for now, let's just make it so it's not that awkward you see the T-pose. We might just want to see the face. So you can click on this camera and it shows what will appear on your profile picture. So you can use this to zoom in closer to your face. Use this to move it up, move it a bit higher. Well, it's a bit better of a picture rather than just an awkward T-pose. And now we're done. You can just name it. We'll name it Sarah and maybe call it version one. And then we can go ahead and publish it. You have to agree here. And also the sharing tab here. If you have it private right now, as of the current version of VR chat, um, if you have private check, people can't clone it. Uh, that may change later, who knows. But if you want people to be able to clone it, you need to check public. Well, we're gonna just use private for now. And just click upload. And then this will take a couple min minutes again. So just be patient and wait for it. All right, so it looks like that took a few minutes, but it's now done. This message will pop up, update complete. Launch VR chat to see your uploaded content. One thing we can do to verify that she's actually uploaded is go to here and go to show manage upload content right here. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see, yep, she's uploaded. And you can also make her public right here. That way you don't have to re-upload her. And that way, um, if you want to share, just make it public really quick, allow someone to clone it, come back and make it private. Um, so anyways, let's go check up on her. All right, so just go to the mirror and change your avatar to her. So right here, change. Yep, and you can see her right here. And you can test out her expressions with the Shift F1, Shift F2, Shift F3, Shift F4. Well, that's creepy. Shift F5, Shift F6. Shift F7, Shift F8, and Shift F1 to just reset the expression again. And test our movements out, do an email, maybe wave. And we also do a cheer. Yep, yep. so it looks like she's all done. That wasn't so hard, was it? So thank you for following on, along on this tutorial and um, we'll be back with more. Thank you. Bye-bye now.